All right, as the update continues down here at the ACT Theater, uh, the Christmas production, it's called Christmas Bells, starts on November 7th through November 23. It has a cast of 11. One of the 11 is Lori Ripley. Now, Lori, talk about who do you play in Christmas Bells? I play Miss Geneva Musgrave. And we talked about this off the air. You're in and out on the stage, so we'll see you off and on, won't we? Yes. yes. Now, you've been in other ACT productions. How does this one compare to maybe some of the other ACT productions you would have been in, Lori? Well, the Red Velvet Cake War was Southern also. Okay. And uh, I enjoy doing accents, and I was also one of the um, crabby women. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. And I play that again. So you play, so you like playing crabby women that are from the south, in other words? Yeah. Okay. Kind of like I do at home, ask oh. my husband. Oh, I was just, I was going to ask how much is that of you in real life, and that's a lot of you in real life? Okay. And your husband would second that for us? Oh, I'm sure oh. he would. Okay. All right. All right. Now, Seth Harris. Seth, you have not been in an ACT production. Uh, what role do you play in Christmas Spells? Seth, talk about that for me. Justin Waverly, the intern pastor. Oh, you play the role of pastor. Yes, sir. Okay, now how much would that be like you? Are you a regular church goer on a regular basis or? It's a, no. Okay. Always interested in how people decide to try out for ACT. Somebody talks you into it. Talk about that for me, Seth. Yeah, uh, one of my coworkers was introduced to it and he asked me if I wanted to. That's how I got started. Okay, now it's a cast of 11, but there are more women in this production than guys. So will we see you on stage a lot, or won't we see you on stage a lot, Seth? Uh, quite often, yes. Okay. Possibly down the road, will you be in another ACT production? Are you saying this is going to be, yeah, I just want to get my feet wet, or maybe will we see you in another ACT production down the road? Pretty sure you'll see me. Okay. Christmas Bells, and he plays the role, Seth Harris plays the role of a pastor. Yes, sir. Okay. All right, now, Mayor Shannon Huff told us uh, two months ago she was never going to become an <laughs> ACT person. Uh, but this, this is kind of, this is a good role for you. It's, and as we talked about, Lori, it's the Southern theme, uh -huh. Southern drawl. You got that all going for you. I do. But we also talked about this last week on the update. It's not a big part that you play, is it? No, it's a smaller part. And um, they gave, it, gave me the smaller part because of my schedule, obviously. Uh -huh. um, but definitely wanted to bring in a little bit of uh, Southern and... And so here I am. You play Patsy Price. Mm -hmm. What should I know about Patsy? Nobody likes her. Nobody <laughs> likes her. <laughs> really? Okay. Just one of those really mean, snotty oh. Southern women. Uh, supposed uh -huh. to be rich and snooty. Mm -hmm. um, not a lot of parts in the in the play for me. You're gonna just see me a few times, um, but definitely a surprise in Act Two. So, so maybe your biggest challenge is trying to be mayor. And trying to find time to come like you are to ACT to find time to practice, right? Absolutely. Between um, you know substitute teaching, uh, being the mayor, going to all the commission meetings and things, um, and, and practice every night. You know, running on running on empty, but enjoying it. So. And you're not on stage a lot. We already talked about that. But is there maybe we don't want to give the whole we don't want to give it away. But is there maybe a particular part, and we'll see you on stage, Shannon, that you really look forward to or not? Something really jump out? <laughs> well, I'm not going to give it away, Wait, right? You we just don't have give to watch away. for the okay. end of the play and okay. see, uh, see what I do. <laughs> okay. All right, that's three of the cast members. We still have eight more to talk to. Thank you so much. And we'll be back with more of the cast members of uh, Christmas Bells in a moment. All right, it's the latest ACT production. It's going on November 7 through 23, cast 11. I'm going to talk with some more of the cast members. Right now we're talking with Perry Todd. Now, Perry, we've seen you in some ACT stuff before, haven't we? Yes. How does this role differ from anything you might have done so far for ACT, Perry? Well, I'm a little bit slow in this one. I see, okay. And I pull a little red wagon. Uh-huh. And I just love Christmas. <laughs> And you obviously will have the southern accent like you do right now. That's yes. kind of the thing. That's what it's called. That's yes. why it's called Christmas, Christmas bells. bells. Obviously, okay. Now there's only three guys in this. Are you on stage a lot, or will we see more women on stage, or how does I how does your part very work? Very small part. Oh, very small part. Yes. Okay. So what what makes Perry want to try out for this particular role? Because it was a small role, or in a Christmas theme, <laughs> in a southern role? Uh, what, what was uh, the reason you decided to, to make it? Bridget told me I had to. Okay, kind of like the mayor. Okay. Yes. Okay. Bridget, 
Bridget can be very convincing, can't she? Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. And we will leave it at that. Perry, thank you so much. Now, Alicia, uh, you were in the last ACT production, right? Right. Okay, talk about the role you play in uh, Christmas Bells. Um, I am in jail for burning down a trailer park. You're in jail? <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, she is a very hostile, um, not happy woman, and she gets a forlorn for the night to see the Christmas production. And your first name in the production is Twink? Twink, yeah. Twink. <laughs> yep. Okay, so... Uh, you spend a lot of time in jail. Is this also a small part, or how much will we see you on stage? Um, no, it's not a small part. The beginning, I'm in jail, and then the rest, I'm at the tabernacle. Okay. Now, it's very rare that people are in back-to-back -back ACT productions. What was it about Christmas Bells that said, hey, I want to get, I want to jump right back in and do it again? Um, well, I thought this sounded like a really funny play, and I thought it'd be fun, something I typically don't do, so it'll be cool. And you'll, will you have a southern accent in the play? I will, Okay. Yes. And where did you get your outfit, by the way, the orange outfit? Did you make that yourself? Um, you got a pan back the top, kind yes. Of show this? Yeah. The pants, no. Okay. <laughs> okay, so when we see you in the Christmas bells, you're not going to be in jail the whole time, obviously. Oh, I'm not. Okay, okay. All right, now we're going to go over here on the right. Uh, i got to pan back a little bit so we can get all of you here. Uh, this probably... <laughs> This angle probably isn't doing you justice, uh, but we're talking, uh, introduce yourself for people that, you, you've been in other stuff, but you've never been in ACT. Introduce yourself first, if you don't mind. I'm Debbie Roth, okay, and no. Roth, R-O-T-H, uh -huh. recently transplanted to Toma. I come from the Richland Center area, and did, uh, the last 15 years, I've done a number of plays with the university and the area community players down there. All right, now you have three names in this production, don't you? Three names, that's somewhat unusual, isn't it, according to the, uh, the, the sheet I have here? They have you down as Frankie, Dubberly is your last name, you have a middle name, or? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yep, I um, hyphenated, apparently, my name. I'm uh, Frankie Futrell. Uh-huh. Um, and the jailbird is my older sister. Okay. And Dubberly is my married name. Okay, now, uh, I have, God only knows we have to ask you this, but what role do you play in Christmas Bells? I am um, one of the three sisters. Um, my oldest sister is directing the play uh, that this is basically about. I am, for most of the play, ten months pregnant with twins. Will we see you on stage a lot? Yes. Okay. All right, it's called Christmas Bells. We've met six of the cast members. We have five to go. Uh, thank you for joining us, and we'll talk with three more in a moment. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, um, next ACD production coming up November 7th through 23. It's called Christmas Bells, a cast of 11. Continuing with the cast, we're going to talk with Todd Stark. Todd, now, you play the husband of the pregnant woman we just talked about with a moment ago, correct? Correct. Okay, yeah. now you tell me she's kind of grumpy, though. I, we, we don't want to give the whole plot away. Would that be a fair assumption? Yes, yes, it would. Why is she so grumpy? Because she's having twins. Oh, that's, that's right. I'm that's saying. right. She told me that. Now, we've seen you in ACT stuff before, but it's been, what, 10 years? About 10 years. Okay. I was um, Greg in Bleacher Bums. All right, so what brings us back to ACT, Todd, 10 years later? Oh, a lot of it had to do with my little accident I had this summer where I lost half my foot. I'm just okay. trying to get back into being around, doing things, because I laid around all summer long and didn't do anything. Cast of 11, three men, nine women. Will we see you on stage a lot or not? Yes, you will. Okay. Yeah. And you'll have the southern accent when you're on stage? Oh, yeah. I'll be okay. talking just like I'm <laughs> Doug Doubly from down in Faye Texas. Now, when, you, when you're selling cars, if you use the southern accent, do you think, you think it would help sell more cars, you think? Or not? Have you thought about that? Maybe to the people that well. come to Fort McCoy. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> All right. Good point. All right. Uh, now, we're going to go over here and talk with Amber Porter. Now, Amber, you play in this production. Todd is your dad, right? Um, yes. Uh, talk about the role that you play, Amber. Um, I'm just Gina Jo Deberly, pretty much just a little silly girl. <laughs> and your mom or Todd's wife, uh, he refers to her as being somewhat grumpy. Would you agree with that? I would, okay. yes. Okay. Now, first time for you in ACT, how does Amber become interested in acting in this ACT production? 
Who talks to you about it? Do you do it on your own, or how does that all come about, Amber? Um, I just did it on my own. Yes, um, just being yeah. new here, I'm um, not from Wisconsin, so I just decided to kind of just get out and do something that I don't usually do. Okay, so you're for not? Are you just visiting, or? Uh, no, I moved here from Nevada. Oh, okay. Are you still in school, or? Yes. Okay, what grade are you in? Um, <laughs> I'm actually in college. Oh, you look awful young. Okay, <laughs> wow, you really are. Okay, I, I probably should ask you that ahead of time, but you probably get that all the time, right? I do, yes. Okay, and obviously you're looking forward to your first time on stage, and that's coming up in the very near future. Amber, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, Dan Craigle. Dan, you're also first time at ACT. You got the badge on there. That's kind of a giveaway what you're probably playing the production, right? Yep, I'm Deputy Sheriff John Curtis Butner. Okay, so we have the father on your right. We already met the priest, the gentleman that plays clergy. So we have a father, a law enforcement person, and a priest, a clergy person. Put that all together for me. How does this work in Christmas Bells? Oh, good question. Uh, Todd? I guess, Greg, the easiest way to say it is, <clears throat> without giving the whole plot away. Sure, we don't do that. The sheriff is trying to take care of a twink, and we have the preacher that has a love interest in the play, and we have myself that <clears throat> I play Dub Dubberly, and the second act you'll sort of, or okay. halfway through the first act you'll sort of see me in a different costume, but I'm not going to give that away yet. Okay. And then we also have um, Perry Todd, who plays Raynard, that was right, just out right. here, the fourth okay. gentleman, okay. and he plays the class clown, I guess you could say, of the whole thing. He really gets it going. But John Curtis is the law trying to keep one out, keep Twink under okay. wraps because she got in a little bit of trouble. Okay, now we already talked with Twink. She's the one that spent some time in jail, to put it bluntly, right? Yep. Now, and is that the only time we'll see you on stage, Dan, or will we see you on stage other times? Uh, actually, I have a fairly decent sized part. Okay. Uh, it kind of sporadic through. You see me coming in, in and out. Always curious, as we asked Amber a moment ago, uh, first time in ACT, yep. somebody talk you into it. How does that all come about, Dan? Yeah, I was just at my computer, and Bridget Owen sent me uh -huh. a message. And as she does when she wants something, she starts with a compliment and uh, <laughs> then, <laughs> then goes uh -huh. for the pitch. And uh, I said, yeah, sure, I'd be interested. And my, my main concern was the time commitment. Right, and, right. Uh, but I was, I've always been interested in theater, and it's just, it's a good way to loosen up and, you know, do something different out of the normal, everyday life. Now, back in the archives, in my archives, being around 30 years, there was a time you were in show choir. Yep. So, you, but so you've been on stage, but this is a little bit different than show choir, right? Yeah, I was in show choir, uh, Johnny Appleseed. Yeah, uh, yeah. I was I was also a sheriff in Footloose. Sure. Uh, yeah. With uh, uh, oh, I just forgot the name of the director. Um, I forgot. It would have been Dale, right? Or was it Dale? Dale no, Stassen. Uh, Kent. Oh, Kent Kane. Kent yeah, Kane. Okay. Yes, yeah. Kent Kane. Yeah, because so Kent. so the point is that you're, it's this ACT, so it's not like you haven't been on stage before, but it's just been a pretty big window there. Yeah, and this is my first, I guess, larger part okay. uh, before I, I had pretty small parts, which were, okay. which were nice. <laughs> All right, we've well, talked with nine of the cast members for the latest ACT production starting November 7th called Christmas Bells. We have two to go. Uh, thank you so much for talking with us. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, so two more cast members to talk with. Latest ACT production called Christmas Bells, November 7th through 23, nine shows. Uh, we're talking right now with Diana Jenkins, right? Yes. Now, you have not been in an ACT production before. Uh, talk about the role we will see you in when November 7 rolls around. Um, well, she's a... Uh, I don't know how to describe her. She's a Texas through and through, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. she's um, a happy person. She likes to make people laugh. I think it's, it's really brought out a lot of my inner self that I didn't know I had in there. So how do you, and you're, there are a lot of people in this production that are doing it for the first time, including yourself. Yes. Uh, how does the idea come about to be part of this production? Well, I got the acting bug back in high school. Okay. And that's many, many years ago. Mm -hmm. And I'd always wanted to get involved in the ACT and it never, the timing never worked out. And it just happened to work out this time, and so here I am. 
And it sounds like if I'm reading between the lines, the role that you play in this production is a lot like you in real life, or am I way off base there? I guess I'm way off well, base. I don't know. <laughs> I, some people think I'm really funny in, in real life, so. Sweet. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I am sweet. <laughs> so is Rhonda Lynn. Yeah. All right, the only cast member we have not talked with is uh, Dawn and Van Alstein, right? Stein. Stein. I knew I'd get it wrong. <laughs> I wrote it down that way, too. Now, uh, again, you, you have not been in an ACT production before. This is my first uh, one. Uh, but talk about the role that you play in Christmas Bell starting just around the corner, November 7. I play the oldest sister, Honey Ray Futrell. Um, I am directing the Christmas program this year. I'm trying to um, repair my tarnished reputation. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, a lot of stuff goes wrong, but I'm trying to hold it together and keep everybody on track. Um, I'm uh, bossy and whiny. Okay. Self-centered. Mm -hmm. So in this production, Christmas Bells, uh, three of the cast members, there's three sisters involved, right? Yes. And you're one of three sisters. Yes. One is pregnant, one's having twins. Yep. And you're the one of the other sisters also. Yep. Now we talked about off the air, I say why be an ACT and uh, Bridget in a way kind of talked you into it, correct? Sure. She asked me to yeah. audition and I talked to my husband about it who's been in H right. ACT productions and he really encouraged me it's such a time commitment, yeah. but he said that he would, you know, try to cover things at home and um, really encouraged me to come down and try out. So your husband's been in it, your daughter's been in it. Yes. Uh, so keeping that in mind. Oh, and my son too. My son and daughter were both in Nuncrackers last year. That's right. So you're the only family member that has not been an ACT. Oh, I have two other kids. So. Okay. So three of the family members mm -hmm. decide. So Half keeping that in mind, have you maybe gone to them for advice and said, you know, what should I be doing? Here's what I'm doing. Is this right? Or have you stayed away from that? Oh, my husband has helped me so much with tricks on how to remember lines. Okay. And, um, it's definitely helped me a lot. Okay. Since you're the last cast member we're going to talk with, before we talk with the director, uh, Bridget Owens, in a moment, speak for the cast. Uh, what type of director is Bridget? She's wonderful to work with. She's so much fun. Um, we laugh so much. Even when we just had the first read-through, before we even got up and started practicing, we laughed through the whole thing. And, you know, she's tough and firm, but she's caring. She's very creative. She's very creative, you know, but she 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 lets us know what she's expecting of us. And um, she just peeked in here. Yeah. <laughs> she must have heard us talking about her. I was going to say, gonna say <laughs> yes, yeah. So we've just, she's she runs a tight ship, but she does it in a fun way. Yeah, I think. It's a blast. We really have all become like a family, too. And for anybody who knows Bridget, basically what you just said in 30 seconds to a minute and a half, whatever it was, uh, if you know Bridget, that's very much what Bridget is like in real life. Right. Okay. All right. Uh, also, uh, if the show were talking a little more than a week before the show starts, it were, if it were to start tomorrow, do you think the cast is ready right now, or are you guys quite not right, right not there right now? I think we're ready. We could do it. I think we could. could do oh it. yeah. Okay. And if anybody missed anything, I think everybody else would carry them through. Sure. So. Okay. Oh yeah, we know how to improv. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're the queen of that. <laughs> Ladies, thank you so much. Uh, the last two cast members had an opportunity to talk with. Thank you so much, and hopefully uh, Christmas bells be uh, well attended when it all starts on November seventh. Thank you for your time. Thank, thank you. you so much. All right, as we wrap up this portion of the update, still down here at the ACT Theater, we met the cast for Christmas Bells, first of nine shows starting on November 7, and now we'll meet the director, uh, Dr. B, Bridget yes. Owens. You've been in some ACT productions. Just but, a few. But now uh, you're, on the other, you're on the other end of it, you're directing it. What's the major difference so far, Dr. B, before we talk more about the production, what's the major difference between being on stage as you have been and directing major difference or I was there I was would think there would have to be right there's I mean there's still a, a time commitment you know involved obviously I'm not memorizing the lines even though I feel like I know half of half right, of my characters right. what they have to say um, as a director you put a lot more time into it though I mean you start preparing weeks before you even have auditions you know you have to know your script you have to 
have an idea of what you want your set to look like. You need to start contacting people um, uh, to be, I have two wonderful uh, stage, I have my stage manager, Nancy Jacob, mm -hmm. and then assistant, um, Michelle Stark. And so I made sure I had those people secured because I knew I was going to need help. Right, right. Um, you know, and you want to make sure you get your lights and sound, which is Emily Schulze. And so you just, you do a lot of prep work. Then, you know, then you have to advertise about auditions. And, um, and then you hope that you have people show up for auditions. And as, as, uh, as luck would have it, I needed uh, 11 in my cast. And guess how many came to auditions? 11? <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, wow. Roughly. I mean, I had two smaller parts. They did not show up the first night. And so I uh, uh, contacted a couple people that I thought um, wouldn't mind having the, the lighter time commitment for, for the lighter part, and uh, one of them being our, our mayor. And uh, she jumped on it. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then Crazy Rainer, you met him, Perry. Right, right. Lord have right. mercy. I've, yep. I saw him in another show, and I was like, I've got I've to get him on my stage. So, so it's, it's just uh, it's a different time commitment. Why did you feel Christmas Bells was the perfect fit for you to direct? Because um, Christmas Bells is written by the same authors that uh, wrote uh, Red Velvet Cake Wars. Okay. And that was a, a big hit here. Um, really enjoyed, I really enjoyed being in Red Velvet Cake Wars. Loved the writer's sense of humor. And uh, people, when, when you come to the show, you're just have to be sure to notice the names of everybody in the show. Names of the characters, but also the names of the people they make reference to. I swear the writers of this show had to sit around the table and drink a few beers and go, <laughs> oh, let's come up with this name. I mean, even people that aren't even, that, that aren't characters in the show, they're just referenced in, in the, oh my goodness. Um, but anyway, they're, the, the writers have a great sense of humor. And when I read through the uh, read through the script, it was like, oh yeah, we've got to we've got to do this. Right now, we're talking with Bridget Owens, uh, hey. director of the latest ACT production. Starts on November seventh. Nine shows, cast of eleven. Now, people would say that's got to be more difficult than a cast of three or four. Am I way off base there? It's uh, it's kind of like a little bit like herding cats. Um, but you know, you just give you, you give everybody a job, and you expect them. You give them expectations, and uh, everybody has risen to the occasion, and everybody's just been wonderful. Of a cast of eleven, I have seven stage virgins. We, that that was the one thing I noticed when we interviewed everybody yeah. that over almost eighty percent on stage for the first time. Yep. Yeah. So. <laughs> We're doing our full dress rehearsal on Thursday, mm -hmm. and I'm hoping to get a handful of people in the audience so that, because, you know, it's a very intimate theater we have, right. and it's really a different venue. It's not like they're down there, and um, you really get the feel for the audience. So um, I'm hoping that our new people, when they step out on the stage, don't just go <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they will. Um, Actually, I've been very impressed with uh, the new people, and some of them just really have just a natural talent. Yeah. So um, I'm actually very excited as they're developing their characters and whatnot. I'm very excited for, for Thursday to see the full dress rehearsal. And when we talk with them, like Dan Crago, for example, and there was a handful of other ones that no, they've never been in an ACT production, but like Dan was in some productions in high, high school. school, other people were in some productions outside of ACT. Yeah, Debbie, so, yeah, she's... So they have been on stage, but just not part of ACT. Right. And like Seth right. uh, works with Todd. Right. I think Todd, I think Todd drug him by his ear in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, he makes a perfect uh, Pastor Justin, Brother Justin. So um, but it's really been fun. Everybody's really gotten... Uh, really tight and you do whenever you get with the cast you, you just get to have so much fun together and you laugh together and you know we've had a, a well Seth who plays Justin he had knee surgery right mm -hmm. in the middle you know mm -hmm. here we are having practices mm -hmm. and he messes up his knee and had to have surgery 
Um, we've had strep throat go through the cast. We've had a flu bug go through the cast. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you just keep going. You just keep having practices, and we all read each other's lines, and you just keep going. Nine shows. We do want to mention your first show, November 7. That's different than the other 10, correct? Talk about the format. Opening night is our dinner theater night. Right. And uh, we have it right up here at the theater. Um, lasagna is on the menu. It's catered by uh, the Ground and Round. And um, so Tyson and his crew, they come and they mm -hmm. bring this wonderful lasagna and salad and garlic bread and da-da-da dinner. And we serve it in the big room. Uh, when you come off the elevator, you go to the right, and we have that big room with all the tables and chairs. And um, so that's where we'll have the, the dinner theater. And that starts at 5.30. And then the show starts at 7.30. I'm pretty sure that's the time. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that the, typically they've been 7.30 and then your shows on Sunday are usually at 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock, right. yes. Tickets for the dinner theater night are $35, and that covers your dinner and your uh, show ticket. Okay. And we also want to give, uh, you cannot do this without sponsors. Oh. They, they, they make it happen. Talk about your sponsors yes. for Christmas bells for me. Wonderful, wonderful. I, I, have a, I have a whole list, so I have myself a cheat sheet because I have a list of wonderful sponsors. Um, first of all, we have a safe ship for all your shipping needs. Um, they, <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> they were a sponsor, a Na a Paula at Natural Connections, wonderful. Um, Sharon at the Nail Boutique. Uh, uh, Jeff and Christy Holdhouse with uh, State Farm Insurance. Uh, Sells Cranberries, thank you, Louie. Uh, TMS Vending, one quarter at a time, uh, Todd mm -hmm. and Michelle Stark. Uh, Deer Creek Dental, Dr. Mark, you have never let me down. Let's see, we got the station, and uh, they also, the station, every week, they are donating a fresh bouquet of flowers for our opening scene. Okay. You will notice um, at the Buku Bouquet counter, we have, we're going to have a beautiful uh, flower arrangement, and for three weeks, um, the station is going to donate uh, a nice bouquet for our weekend shows, so that's very nice. And then our last one is uh, Cardinal Glass, uh, Cardinal Glass, Cardinal Glass. Yes. Okay. Now, we have talked with a lot of different directors about a lot of different ACT productions the last five, ten years. Uh, Christmas bells uh, for the whole family, not for the whole family. Talk about that for me. Oh, yes. I don't see any reason why it couldn't be for the whole family. I just all of a sudden had to, like, think through it. It's like, meh. Mm -hmm. I don't even think it would necessarily even be considered PG-13. I mean, okay. I, uh, I, I think there's enough activity and and we go from one scene to the next so I think it moves fast enough that even if you brought your younger ones I think they would be entertained um, I think that's the biggest thing you have to watch uh, when bringing really young people to live theater is sometimes you know you have to really develop the the show like in the first part of the first act and it can sort of get you know for, mm -hmm. for the younger ones but this one just starts right away we have two acts 11 scenes in the first act and 16 scenes in the second act. And okay. so it's like, poof, 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 poof. and we go to different parts of the stage and uh, um, we have some fun surprise characters that are going to come on. And so I don't see any reason why you can't bring the whole family. Okay. There's no questionable language. Mm -hmm. There's no little bit of mooching at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Right, it's called Christmas Bells, but we won't, I mean, we're not going to have, there won't be any Christmas songs or anything like that people can be familiar with, or... Yes, there's Christmas songs. Oh. Okay, well, let me ask you this thing, because that brings me to my last question, then we're talking with the director of Christmas Bells, uh, Dr. B, otherwise known as Dr. Bridget Owens, she's been in ACT Productions, but directing Christmas Bells. Um, I'm one of these people, I'll be honest with you, I've always had a hard time getting into Christmas. If I come to your show, will that get me in the Christmas spirit? Yes. Spirit? Why? You will, Why will it get me in the Christmas you spirit? You will leave here with a smile on your face right. and you will get a little injection of the Christmas spirit. You will. Okay. You will. Because I need that. By the most unlikely character. Really? Yes. Okay. We don't want to give too much away no, now. No, oh, no. no. Okay, and again, the simplest way, and we've talked about this with other directors, the easiest way to get tickets is just go online, isn't it? Go online, tomaact.com. Uh, also, you can call the box office uh, Monday through uh, Friday, yeah, mm -hmm. from 2 to 5, 374-7469. Mm -hmm. If you have some specific requests, you, know, right. you can call the box office. 
But otherwise, yeah, tomaact.com, super easy. Yeah, you can even, I believe you can even select where you want to see, yep. or where yep. do you want to sit, right? Yep, yep. Okay. Okay. I'm pretty sure they've worked all the bugs okay. out. You know, whenever you start something new, okay. you get some bugs in there, but I think they've worked all that out, so. Right, it's called Christmas Bells, first of nine shows starting on November 7, Dinner oh, Theater. Yes. We've been talking with the director, Dr. Bridget Owens. A cast of 11, it sounds like it's going to be a tremendous ACT production. Bridget, thank you so much for your time. Thank and you. Uh, thank you for sitting down, and thank your, thank your cast also for uh, sitting down and giving us kind of a sneak peek at what we can expect uh, when November 7th rolls around. Great. Thank you so much, Craig.